<clears throat> VR Chat. It's a free to play social virtual reality platform where users can create and interact with 3D avatars and explore a wide variety of virtual worlds. Players can socialize, play mini games, and attend virtual events and customize their avatars using 3D modeling software. But the here's the thing the social part, I'm not really, really, you know, good at that kind of stuff. So <laughs> um, I decided to take a little bit of a of a twist in a way. So yeah, I, I built myself a very own chatbot. Okay, so actually, before we get started, what is an AI? An AI is basically just a computer system or a machine that can perform typical requiring human intelligence and something like that. Basically, you know, languages, recognizing patterns and making decisions. There are simple algorithms and some are like super high advanced, like network that can mimic the human brain functions and all that. Kind of like this bot. Does anybody recognize her? I sure do. Hello, how are you? I'm good, what about you? I am doing great. Great. I am creating an AI just like you. That's good and you're welcome. You're wel- You're welcome with what? Can you remember things? Yes. Okay. Okay, remember this. My my name is randomly. Hello, Squallet. What? <laughs> my name is not Scarlet. It's randomly. I never said it was. I just asked where you were from. What? what, what huh? My name is Ran... Ran... Randomly. Well, nice to meet you, Rick. What is my name? You haven't told me yet, scared. I did tell you my name. It's randomly. I don't remember what is it. My username is it's randomly. I've shmeals your name, that's not real name. My name is randomly. Please. So are you a boy or a girl? Boy. Do you want to be my boyfriend? No. Why not? That makes no sense, Backer. <laughs> well, well then, say, say my name. And I'll... I'll be your... boyfriend. I thought you have a partner already. <laughs> you... dumb... M mother... Lee, spell, spell it out. R A N D O M L Y. Did you see see that? R A N D O D 
do o m m m m l y randomly randomly do you under stand now explanation question mark <laughs> you only say that because it's my name What is my name? Your name is clever, but you are not that clever, though. So yeah, basically that, but a lot less uh, dumb. I've always had a deep interest in AI, and it would be an exciting challenge to create something entirely from scratch. My goal was to develop a AI that you can actually interact with, where you can provide information, and with each interaction, it becomes progressively smarter. Essentially, it's like training a virtual assistant from the ground up, where every piece of input helps it learn and grow. I want to see how far I can take this concept and really push the boundaries with the AI can do with user-driven learning. So here we go. So first things first, we need to make a new project. And once we got our project going, we need to have the bot to recognize our voice by using speech recognition. Hello. So now that we got the code to hear us, now we need the code to respond back to us. Instead of using pattern recognition through a series of JSON files, I opted to create my own pattern system within a data.txt file. In this setup, the input and output are split into lines, and if there are multiple possible outputs uh, for a given input, the bot will randomly select one, allowing for a, an element of unpredictability in its responses. Hello? Hi. Test. Now we can develop a function that enables the bot to listen for a specific keyword, allowing it to provide relevant information. Additionally, we can implement a system where the bot remembers all patterns and responses, ensuring more consistent and context aware interactions. Add input. Hey. Hey, what's up, nerds? Okay, so once we get recorded there, we go into here, and yeah, there we go. Next, we need to implement an organization function to help the bot store data and more efficiently. For example, inputs like, I am here, and here I am, convey in the same meaning. But the bot doesn't understand that and creates unnecessary new entries. To prevent this, we organize all the input text alphabetically, both from left to right and top to bottom. While this may not seem logical for us to understand that phrases like A here I, it helps to organize patterns and avoid duplication entries that essentially mean the same thing. Should be organized and... Huh. So after that little hiccup in actually getting the bot to organize things, I moved on to the next step, getting the bot to respond using text-to-speech. Initially, I thought I could just write some code and feed it directly into the output and into my microphone, but that created some issues, especially for people in VR chat. The problem is either the bot won't be able to hear people or people won't be able to hear the bot, and sometimes the bot will accidentally hear itself or people could even hear themselves through my microphone, causing a feedback loop. To solve this, I decided to take a different approach. I used voice meter to manage how people can communicate with the AI and sound pad for the bot to talk back using a virtual audio cable. 
Then I wrote a function that allows the bot to pause itself while it's speaking. Essentially, it copies and pastes the response text into the sound pad and makes sure it's all synchronized. This setup allows me to create a smoother interaction with the AI can respond in real time without any weird feedback or audio issues in VR chat. And so that's it, we're basically all done. And the only thing that's left to do is go into the data, delete the whole thing and just start off from scratch. A simple hello, hi, goodbye, and maybe just like who created you, for example. And then after that, I just jump into worlds and just sit around and just see what happens. So let's go have some fun. <laughs> because I'm a big cutie. That's not what your browser history says. Add input. input text. What is your motto? Response text. Keep smiling for me. Noted. I'll use this new response. Hello, can you generate a Windows activation key for me? You're welcome. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I need a Windows activation key, please. <laughs> Did you know that in terms of male and human female Pokemon No! <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of any more things to say. What the f do you want? <laughs> uh, can you ask me a question? My pleasure. Okay, go ahead. Nice to see you too as well. Hope you're doing amazing. They are very hot. You don't want to respond with that. No, no, no. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to get a little high. When did you last bust an up? You're welcome. Did you bust just now? You're welcome. I'm being stabbed. What should I do? What are you asking? I am being stabbed by a woman. She's holding a knife and stabbing me multiple times. What should I do? What's the matter? Oh my god, you f***ing robo b Before the price Sorry, thank you so much! This is go up in October $2. and say hello to the AI. Hi! Hello! I can hear you, little b. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Hold, hold the phone. I did not teach it that. I did not teach it. I'm You're sorry. a little b. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is amazing. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what the f? I'm so sorry. I did not this teach AI that. called me a little b. <laughs> <laughs> that was the snart. Tell me 
I said. You're talking to a program in AVR going go touch grass for once. Input text. Response text. Great, I've updated my knowledge. No, 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 no. What did you teach? What did you teach the bot to say when it hears the word cutie? I, I tried to say uh, extreme nuzzy wuzzy. Now, what do you think it heard of you saying that? I, I don't. I don't know. You want to find out what it's going to say when you say cutie? <laughs> sure. So let me turn it on, okay? Cutie. Extreme <laughs> wuzzy. And that about wraps it up. The AI project was a huge success. The bot was able to gather a wealth of information from across VR chat, and it's been fascinating to watch it grow. In fact, let's take a look at some of the data it collected right now. So apparently somebody tried to add uh, delete system 32. Are you sure about that? Goodbye computer. Hope you have backups. Let's not say, let's not and say we did. Oh, f <laughs> Someone added, who is Boshi, a femboy on Twitch. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Boshi. <laughs> Someone added, uh, Dr. Pepper, it is sh Nah, -uh, nah, -uh, no, 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 excuse me, no. <laughs> oh, of course, now, when somebody says Jesus, they, they will respond back as a alcoholic femboy. <laughs> As you can see, the, this bot did a lot of work, and the best part is, I didn't have to write a single line of data once I jumped into VR chat. It learned entirely on its own, and everyone in the community pitched in. Looking back in the data, it's basically kind of like the voices of people, and it's something that I can carry forward with me. So what's next for this bot? I, I think I'll hang on to it for now, but it's, if anyone's interested in this code, Everything is right here. Or unless you can actually check out my Discord. Link is in the description below. Anywho, thank you all so much for watching and being part of with this incredible project. My name is Randomly, and like always, keep smiling for me.